Hi, my name is Kobe, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to get fast renders in real production using the Cinema 4D environment map to cheat reflection. So, I've used this technique in most of my works and renders I have done. For example, this particular one. And in, in this case as well. And you see, in this case, I actually added a reflected re reflective floor in this particular instance. In this case, as well, and actually, let it go a bit forward for us to see. So here are all our footages, and at the end, see how the logo actually ends. So. So I used it in the logo ref reflection in here, so everything about the logo. There's no real reflection, it's all environment map for the reflection. So I've used it in a lot of scenarios and in this scenario as well, the gold everything was actually, I used the environment um, map to do everything, yeah. So I've used it in a lot of scenario and it's really quick and it really saved me a lot of, lot of time, especially using a very low grade machine, I will say the specs are very low. So I have one of the projects open here and I want to show how actually it's set up and it's as simple. I have a whole video on here which actually talks about how to apply it and how to play around with it. I might actually go ahead and do another video which actually starts from scratch a whole project on how to i i will use it and light everything and but this one is to break this particular um, project down not necessarily the whole project but the texture and how i actually did it so in this particular uh, particular scenario it's a mix of you know real reflection and environment reflection so for instance the rules of the game text were actually used uh, we actually use real cinema for the um, material like with re real reflection to get the reflection because I wanted to get a bit of light movement when the camera is sort of moving in this way so you can see we have some like reflection in here and it's all using this particular light so this let me if I zoom out can see this light is the one that giving us that reflection so i can actually come in here and so if the orange part and the text all are using real reflection so for instance if i double click on this one you can see it has proper reflectance and reflection is set and all that but for the background images is all the black and things i wanted to get a bit of reflection in there make it look like it's reflecting but if I should zoom out the scene out of the scene, actually, let me go to top. Let me try and zoom out for us to see. It's a very huge scene, so my scene is somewhere in there. Let me go to the top view for us to see what's going. It's a very huge mesh which has a lot of stuff going on at the back, right? And I have my scene somewhere a little in there. So if I should actually zoom out, you can see where the camera. So this is my scene in here. And if I should zoom out, you can see it's really huge. I can actually go ahead and copy this part of the scene. Let, let's. Um, so I can actually go ahead and copy this part. So this is the box, and you have this one here. So I can actually go ahead and copy the whole this particular part of the scene. Copy. So I create a new. Go ahead and paste it so i'll zoom out and all that's happening here is just a normal cube which i've animated on the y so you can see it's a normal cube which i've animated on the y and it's you can see if i select the cube and come to its coordinate you can see it's y that's moving that nothing complex and in this particular ones i can, let me hide this i can actually come in here and open so you can see I've cloned some elements. So let me bring out one of them. So I'll just hold control to drag it to copy. And I can hide this ones. 
to for us to see. So now you can see it's just a normal um, tri uh, rectangles which I've extruded, right? So I'll take off the symmetry, all the symmetries in here. So it's normal rectangles which I've extruded. So up here is a rectangle which I've extruded. Same thing for this side which I've extruded. And I did I used that because I wanted to get the front face and the back face. So for instance, especially this this one, you see all the other sides are, are dark and the edge here, the front edge here is or like orange. And I had the intention of taking it into After Effects to give it a bit of glow. And that's why I actually did it this way. I could have simply gone ahead to use a normal cube to do it. But I intentionally did it this way to get, get it a bit parametric and at the same time get all the elements I want. So it's a very basic, simple scene. And all I've done is with all this, um, I've gone ahead. So let me open, bring them back. I've gone ahead to clone them you know, on Y. So if I come to the clone object, see five count is five and on Y. And the only that the thing is happening is I've used the planar plane object to as a fall off to make it rotate. So on the parameter I can see it's rotating on the heading minus 150. So that's a sim very very simple scene. So I see the plane object. And I've du so it's the same thing which I've duplicated, but I mean the plane objects are moving in different directions. So this one is 95 and that one is 115. Um, so basically that's the whole scene. So I've gone ahead to take off the materials of the right side of this scene. So you can see now we have just the um, extrude objects, right? So if I go ahead and enable the clone, you can see what's happening. So it's cloned it and everything is intact. So for now, I'll take off the clone. And I'll go ahead and reapply the material. So I actually create it from scratch. So it, I'll first of all come here and to this scene, and I'll create this first uh, material, which is um, the black one. So I'll double click here to create a new one. Or I can actually come to create new material. Then I'll apply it to this side. So it's, this symmetry is the size. Of the whole box so I'll apply it and now I want that one to be the black part so I'll just double click on it and I'll come here to make it like the value 10 I don't want reflectance and I come to environment click on it and you come to my lookout um, folder and I'll choose the town which is what I used for the other one so I'll say open and you can go ahead and watch a tutorial on how actually to apply the environment map, which I have a tutorial here on YouTube. So I apply the environment map. I'll now click on this icon here and add it to a layer. Now in the layer, I'll create a shader and I'll add a Fresnel shader and I'll multiply it so that it gives it that Fresnel um, effect. Then I'll come back to the environment, right? And I'll make the X 15 and I think the Y make it 8. And you can see we've created a similar one like this one, um, this one here. The next thing is I'll reduce it, its um, brightness, so let's say 60. And I'll go ahead and I, it's already applied. So let's see what we have. Let me actually zoom out of the camera. Let's see what we have. You can see this is what we have. What else did we do? I think added a bit of blade to the flex and so I can come in here. So this is what I was doing. Come in here and make it a bit blur. So like five, right? And you can see in this one we had bump. So I'll come to bump. And I'll add bump and I'll use noise. I'll actually leave it at the normal noise, which I think probably might have done it like 5% or something, depending on what you want. And I reduce the bump strength to let's say one or actually 0.5. And now you can see what we have. 
let's render and you can see it's giving us some sort of fleshing but a rough version and now the front it's just this material which is just a um, color and its gradient in here so gradient which has actu I've actually duplicated several times and now just apply it here and now you can see oh so this sorry it's actually supposed to be the um orange material here which is just a normal so i can double click here it is just normal luminance and i'm checking it everything um come and make it orange and go ahead so for us to be consistent i'll just go ahead and click on this one to sample the color use the color picker and now drag it and drop it here and you can see now it's covering the whole thing so i'll just come into the sele section selection and i'll c capital c1 to restrict it to just the caps the front caps and basically we've created this whole thing so if i enable the clone you can see everything is just like this one but what's left is the um other like in between here which i'll go ahead and apply the same thing to this one the same black to this one and i can see we are there so what we are left is the front and that one i use this particular one so i'll just apply it to it as well and it's as simple as that it's nothing complicated it's just simple materials and you just apply them i render it and later sent it to after effects and i added the rest a bit of brightness and color adjust it a bit to get what i i want so that's how simple this whole scene is so here i have the scene rendered in after effect and you can see we have the reflection and depth so with this i can actually go ahead and give it the depth of fill that i want to get to give my uh, my scene and you can, i've actually gone ahead so this is the normal scene so if i take off this how it came in a bit dark and all that but i went ahead and duplicated it and added it on top of it so i added it the mode i added it and adjusted the transparency in a bit so i mean when you bring it here in after effect you can go ahead and apply your um effect color corrections and things to get it how you want it to look like i mean i have some other element um, um, um footages and things in here which are missing unfortunately i don't have the files here so i can't show so i add, go i went ahead and added a flare and added some um sparks and things and all that i don't have it in here so this is just the front like the end scene where the logo comes and it's all added in a bigger scene and the bigger scene is this part so you can see here we have the front so this part is basically i just took off the text and the rules of the game and actually added the picture to the faces of the boxes and in different ways so i added different picture and i animated the camera differently it's the same scene but I've, the camera movement is different from all scenes and that's all and i just added pictures you know went ahead added flare and things and it's as simple as that and it's a very very interesting way to work quick and fast especially if you have a very low spec machine so that's a quick breakdown how how i did this particular one using the material environment to get some quick reflections i mean I'm, i'll go ahead and do a whole tutorial right from scratch build everything and build the material from scratch and light it everything in the in subsequent videos coming up see you in the next one